Hey there, this is Tanya at Hummingbird Painery. I'm coming to you to start the angel from the tie. Let me see if I can get it down here. I gotta get my glasses on. And how are y'all? Happy Sunday. Let me move this down some so you'll be able to see what I'm doing. Got one person, Vicki Fox. Hey there, how are you? Elaine, thank you for coming. Let me see if I can move it down just a little bit more. Hey, Jenny. All right, I was a little bit late coming on because I couldn't get it to turn where it was facing me. It was facing the other way. So, let me turn on my heating, my gun here so I'll have that. Um, I'll show you the things while it heats up. I've got just a little piece of lace here that I had that I cut off the bottom of something. I've got several ties here. I've got a red one and I've got a purple one. We're going to be doing the purple first. Um, I have a little piece of this one. I had already cut some off. I got some of these ties from Goodwill. I cut this one apart and I made a little circle, so we may end up doing something with that in a minute. And these pieces right here, I've got a doily and another doily here, some little bitty ones here that are like little flowers. And hey, Polly Kemp and Stefani, how are y'all? I've got some other ones too that I cut. I've got this little wreath, that way the angel can hold the wreath. And I made a little sign. I changed it a little bit to put that in the middle. Um, so it says paint, paint the hummingbird, uh, paint hummingbird paintery. And I've got some uh, little rope here just in case I need it. I also had this. Um, I bought this. It was kind of all of this together. And so I cut it apart. And I thought this one would be good to put on the red one uh, to make her halo. And I've got some crafter Spanish moss here from the Dollar Tree um, for their hair. And I've got this, which is part of this, which was in the spring section and it was on sale. So I just cut this piece off so I could use that for the wings. And I also got um, some bling and I've been collecting bling. I'll get some each payday and put it in here and we can look at that. I also got these, but I think they're too big. Um, for From the Dollar Tree, only it had fur on it and I took that off because I thought it was ugly. Um, I may end up doing a different angel with this one and put it on this side and let this be the, the angel wings for something else. Yesterday while I was watching TV, hey Beth Hurley, hey Cheryl Myron, Robin Campbell, um, I made this little dog, and I also made this little dog out of some different kind of yarn. And he just looks kind of funny to me. I've got a little tail on him, and he's got little ears. But I thought he was cute, so I just thought I would show y'all that. While I was watching television, I kind of did it. We're going to need some uh, paint for the face. And we can go ahead and do that. I don't know whether I want to use this bigger ball. I think that's what I'm going to use instead of the small one. Um, I'm not sure exactly when I made these last year um, if I used the smaller one or not. But I think the bigger one would be better. And then I got some white paint as well and black paint for the eyes. And I may end up having to... Um, open another thing of of the uh, blush so let's see here cute puppies yeah they are cute puppies let's see this doesn't want to come out all right maybe it's got maybe it's got a booger <laughs> in the end of it all right let's see if I can get this off always keep a piece of metal here because I always have to put this inside the end of the the paint here because it gets clogged up for me. So I am going to go ahead and paint those the skin color or the flesh color. And let's see if I have a, I think this is too big. Well, maybe not. Look good there. 
This is so much easier if you have something to stick in there and that way you can hold the end of it and paint around without having to worry. So let's paint that since I didn't turn on the, the glue gun like I was supposed to. I had it on earlier and I thought, oh, let me turn this off because I don't want to waste anything or have any of it, you know, dripping out. So this is excellent. Let's see here. What we'll do is stick the other one on the other. Well, this is a paintbrush. How about that? All right, so let's try to dry this. I may have to do it twice. Let's just see. What's everybody done today, except when y'all came on with me to go to Ikea? I bought a few things there. All right. So, this one looks pretty good. I don't think we're going to need another coat. So, we're going to go ahead and put the other one on since we'll make two of these. And we'll go ahead and do this one. Hey, Patsy Perry. Thank you for coming on. I'm not sure if you've been on here before. I don't remember your name. Jeannie, thank you for coming on. This is the part of a paintbrush. And it works really well for this. So we're just going to paint this up and then I'll put the heat, heat gun on it and we'll dry it real quick. That way those will be ready when we're ready for them. There we go. Let's dry that. Here we go again. Doing the wash and baking cookies. I baked cookies yesterday. I ate them all too. That's terrible, but, but they were good. They were chocolate chip out of the... I do too, Cheryl. I love... Excuse me. I love to uh, bake cookies and eat them. <laughs> all right, so we've got that out of the way. And we're done with that portion. We're not going to finish the faces. Let's see. This is hot enough now. So, you can use anything you want. You know, I've got two different kinds right here. Um, all of these little things. What you do is get your tie. And I thought purple was okay. I, I got this at Goodwill. I did get some ties last year from my dad. Um, he passed away in 2014. And my stepmother gave me a few of these. And what you're going to do is use this portion down here about... I don't know, eight inches high. I don't know. You can just pick whatever you want to. You're going to end up pinching this right here. Um, this is going to be the bottom portion of your angel. However long you want it is what you're going to use. And you're going to use this part right here for the arms. So you want the thinner part. And I'm just going to cut it. I'm going to see first. You're going to cut however you want the length of it to be. And you're going to cut that. And I want it to be about right in here. You may want to do it just a little bit higher. And you're going to cut that off. And this is going to be the body or the dress, so to speak, for your angel. Say, uh, sewing Halloween mask. That's cool. Beautiful day in California. Clovis, California. Hey, Minnie Duncan. And then we're going to cut the end of this. And you kind of want to look at this and just make sure that you're going to have enough room. Because you're going to end up, you want it to go around it just like this. I know that looks silly right now. But you're going to just cut it. And I think this will be enough. So we're going to cut this portion off. And then you've got all of this left for something else. So you can set that over to the side. Hey, Stephanie, Jenny. All right, so you're going to take this and you're going to tie it in a knot in the center. And this is going to be the hands for the angel. And we're going to want to twist it around a little bit because you want the good side to be over here. And both of these are pretty good, so it doesn't really matter. Let's see. I'm going to twist it this way because this is pretty good. 
This one is tied in a knot here, and then you've got these two little pieces on the side here. And you're going to end up putting this around the neck portion. You're going to pinch this right here, just like this. And you're going to put this in the front. And you're going to put this like this. Let me make sure I'm going the right way. Yeah. So that way you've got the angel hands just like that. And then we're going to kind of hold this and you're going to glue all of this together. So let me get my glue. And I kind of want to you do a little dab of glue right here in the center. And that way you can pinch it all together. And this one, the glue's kind of coming out the top here. And you're just still holding all this together. And then you're going to let one of the edges go right here. And you're going to put a little dab of glue right there on that side. Just like that. And you're going to pinch it. You're just going to hold it for a second. And then you're going to pinch it, you know, let it go right here so you can put a little glue in there. And this is going to be able to hold your head. So you want to pinch it in the middle so you've got a little area just like this up at the top. And then you're going to hold that just a little bit. Then you're going to take this portion and you're going to put, lean it this way on the back. You can cut this if you want to, or you can tuck your hands in there. This is the back portion of the angel. <clears throat> Just make sure that the hands are in the center in the front. All right, let's see. We're going to redo it since I let it go. And we're going to, and you may have to twist it just a tad so you don't see any of that. And then you just want to do it around. And you can leave it loose a little bit in the front because you can have them holding something inside like some little flowers. I didn't have any purple flowers. I'm not really into purple. I don't know why I got this purple, but um, we're just going to put some glue under there and under here. And then you're going to put a little glue on the center there. And then you're going to put that down. I'm going to end up cutting just a, a little bit right there because I kind of got it off some. So, and this is where the, the little doily comes in place because you're going to put it on top so you don't see any of this, okay? So you just kind of hold all of this together. We're going to take our scissors and cut this little bitty bit off because we don't want that to come through on this side. So this is what it looks like. Hold on, and I'll turn it around for you. I'm getting my hand in the glue a little bit. <clears throat> so this is what it looks like so far. Okay, you've got your hands right here, and you've got your body here, okay? So you've got this portion up here that you're going to be able to put the top of the ball on. But we're going to take this and we're going to set it over here like this. And we can kind of pinch it a little bit. Just once you get your glue on there, it's going to be like this. Okay. So let's put the glue on top. Don't put a whole lot of glue because it'll come through and probably get you. So try to be careful with that. And you want to look at it. Put this in the center. And then lean it down this way. And you may want to, once this is down a little bit, put it on top here. And then you can put a little dab of glue on the front and a little dab on the back. That way it holds it down a little bit. I'm going to do the back since I'm showing y'all this front. You just want a very tiny little bit. And on the back, it doesn't matter as much as it does on the front because you don't want it to show. So try to do it on part of the doily that, that has the most material. Let me do this. I'm trying to be real careful. And you want to just set it down on here. Just like this. All right, 
And so this is what it looks like right here with the hand in the front. And you can put this down if you want to glue these sides a little bit. You can. That way it looks more like a collar. And then we're going to, um, let's see, put our ball on top. We'll paint her face, okay? This is going to be the head. And you're going to just set it on the top here. You're going to put a semi bunch of glue right there to hold the head. And we're going to just set it right here. And we're going to hold it for a second because we don't want that to come, come undone. Alright, so that look, that's the head right there. And then we are going to dress up the dress and fix this. This is what I did. <laughs> That way it would say paint hummingbird paintery on there. <laughs> so I just pinned it. So you can get these at, at the Dollar Tree. And um, I just took this off. I kind of just flicked it up and it came off very easily. And I put it in the center. That way you couldn't see it. Because this was on the end and you could see the end of it. And it looked kind of yucky. So um, I ended up doing it this way. So I want mine to say that. Well, I'm going to lay this down right here. I think everybody can see. So, um, we'll get this. We'll make a couple of these and just put them down here. Or we can take this, which I think I'll do this. We're going to just take a portion of this. It's got a little stain right there. Um, I had cut this off so I could get a bunch of doilies out of it. And so you just take it and you put it to the edge. This has a little bit on here. So I'm just going to take it and go like this. And then we'll cut off this portion right there. And then we're going to do it sideways. And then we're going to do cut off this portion like that. And that way when we glue it on, it's going to be like that. So let me put the glue under there. I'm just going to put a little dab. Very little dab. And then we're going to put this little dab here. I'm going to put it on the, the tie. And if you have too much, you can always get it off of here. It didn't look like a... See, this one's got some room right here that needs to come off because you don't want that to be off the edge so i'm just going to cut that and this side just a smidgen maybe but it's okay and we can put some ribbon around here let me see i'm gonna use this let me see if we can put this on here so we can hang this let me put it underneath here. And let me see if I can put it up through the dolly. It's not going to do very well. wonder if we could do it around her neck. It's on pretty good. Let's see if we can tie it around her neck and do it that way. And just, let's see. We'll tie it and then we'll... Because you can't tell since this is brown as well. So you can make your little bow here. Little knot. I should say not a bow. Okay. So you can, you can tie it up and then put it on your tree and then it'll be straighter. If you have a ball that has the hole in it, you can go ahead and put that on there and then it'll be able to go up on your tree easier. Right now it looks like a noose around her neck, but you can't tell that because of this being brown as well, so it's okay. So we're going to make a face and put a little hair on her with the Spanish moss. 
Thank you. I'm so glad you like it. Let me just get this. This is so messy, but hopefully we can make her have some hair that's kind of cute, and then we'll put a halo on her. All right, we're going to put, and then we'll make her face as well. And I'm going to put a little bling on her too. I'm just going to put some glue all around her hair here to kind of hold this. Let's make it. There we go. Now let's see. We're just going to put a dab on. She's having a bad hair day. That's for sure. <laughs> She's adorable. <laughs> her wild little hair here. Lordy mercy. All right. Let me put some here in the front so she doesn't look kind of bald looking. Let me see here. Let's get a little bit more. Let me see if I can put a little dab right there. There we go. And let's stick this on there. There we go. That's a little better. We can always take some of it off. <laughs> And that she might need a little bit more in the back. <laughs> She's kind of bald-headed back there. So let me give her, give her a little bit. Where did you get the small doilies? These right here, I got from the middle of... <laughs> Y'all would kill me, but I cut up like a runner. A table runner. Once I got what I needed for my house that I wanted to put on there, then I used it to cut up to get the doilies off of that because it you can get a million doilies out of one and I have a lot of them I've got lots of bags of them because I've been trying to save up it's a good thing since I decided to do this crafting thing huh because I'm going to be using a lot so she's kind of um wild with her hair let's see we can cut, give her a little haircut. Lordy. It's all right, though. All right. So it's not so bad right there. And what we're going to do is I'm going to just going to take one of these. I don't know. I guess I want this one. I'm going to take this one right here because it kind of looks like a halo to me. And I'm going to just set it on her head. I'm going to put it kind of close, and we're just going to pinch in the middle. That way it leans up a little bit. So I'm just going to take a little tiny dab of glue right there. And I'm going to try to put this right in the center of it, and we're just going to pinch it like that because it's going to hold up. Just watch what I show you. See how it kind of is up? It looks like our halo back there. Because if you put it way down in the center, then these little portions uh, will stick up some. And they look more like a halo. Okay. Thank you. I'm so glad y'all like her. You cut up tablecloths. I did too, Cheryl. I did too. I cut up one. And yesterday, y'all saw some of those that I got. Um, it's terrible, but I can't help myself. Um, I'm going to take one of these little bitty brown ones. This came brown, but I did, like this one right here, I think I dyed this um, with coffee because I like them brown too. I'm going to put this little bitty one right here on the bottom, and I'm just going to put it kind of up at the top, and I'm going to show you what it looks like. You can kind of tell, can't tell, I don't know. Right there, I've got that on top of that. And then I want some bling, and I don't know whether I want to put the bling at the bottom or I want to put a bling at the top. And this right here, and this right here kind of has purpley and pink in it. Um, it makes it that way when it shines. Uh-oh. <laughs> Slippery little booger. So I don't know whether I want to put this up at the top under her. I think that's what I'm going to do. do you, what do you think? Do you like this one? Or do you like this one? Right here. So everybody, if you like this one, then thumbs up here. 
or give me some hearts. If you want the smaller round one, then let me know that. And I will put it there. And then we'll make her face. Let me see what I got. The first one. The little bitty one in the round. Okay. That probably will fit better. That's for sure. I'm going to put this down. And I'm going to take this. And this is a button, as you can see. And it looks like this. But I'm just going to take a little dab of glue right there on the end. And I'm going to put it in here and it will attach. We just have to hold it for a second. And this is what it looks like. You can put a bow up there if you want to. You could put a bow down here or some ribbon, whichever one you like. And then we're going to do the face. So let me see. Where are those brushes? Hmm. I moved them. <laughs> what, did, what did I? Here they are. Okay. These are the brushes. And here's one. Let me just get this one. This is the one I used that Miss Elaine gave me. And we're going to dip this. You want to get a pointy brush just like this. And you're going to want to dip it in the black. And I kind of roll my paintbrush around in that so it just gets it and makes the pointy part on the brush. So we're just going to take this and we're going to paint the eyes on here. And I want to do it to where... It doesn't have too much paint on there. Let me get this little part out of here. Oh, goodness. Hold on. For whatever reason. All right. Here we go again. I had a little bitty extra piece on there. So we just want to do this. And that's one eye. And then we're going to go on this side. I have to be really quiet for a second while I'm doing this. And then we've got two eyes. And then we want to make little eyebrows. So we're just going to flick a little bit over here and a little bit over here. That way she's got two eyebrows. And then we're just going to make a mouth. And we're going to make a little nose, but we got to make it really thin. All right. So there's our little face. We're going to make some um, eyelashes. So she looks more like a girl. So she's got some eyelashes. We're going to get rid of this. And we're going to go in the white. And we're going to put a little bit of white in her eyes. And we're going to do a little bit of white on this side. And we're going to do one little dot. Just like that. And then I don't know what I did with that. It's somewhere. I cleaned up and now I can't find anything. My brother called me yesterday and I was talking to him trying to clean at the same time. So we'll just use this one. I don't have my bright pink. 
but this one's kind of a pretty color as well. And I'm going to just put my finger on there and we're going to do it just like we did the other one. This one's kind of a little bit different. I like the, the brighter pink better. And we're just going to make some cheeks for her. Little rosy cheeks. And I always put a little bit at the bottom. So that's her face. And you can make some little lines to the side if you want to. If you want to do like this. Just like that on the, the smile part. So that's her right there. So this is our first angel like that. I wish I could paint like you. Well, it's practice and this isn't the best really. Um, when you do it small like this, it's a lot more difficult. Um, I'm going to put that aside. We're going to work on this one right here. Um, it's thinner. If you'll notice, um, they're all different sizes. Some of the older ones are like really wide. This is really a fairly new tie, but I did get it at Goodwill as well. They're like $2 at Goodwill. Um, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and cut this one. And I've already knotted this one at the end. So I'm just going to cut that portion off as well. That's for the arms. And then I'm going to cut this portion. And we can make this one a little bit shorter, I guess. It doesn't have to be exact. And then I'm going to take this because I might use it for something else later. And then um, we can take this off. It doesn't matter. You don't have to. It says rayon. There we go. All right, so we've got this, and this one is good on both sides here, so we're going to have that, and I'm going to turn it around because I've got it going. You want it, the knot to kind of go downward to make it look like her arms, and I might have done this just a little bit too long, so we're going to cut some of this off. We're going to pinch this like this, and we're going to just go ahead and do that part, and then we'll do the hands again. Very pretty. Hey, Patsy Perry. All right. Don't you wish you had a third hand sometimes? I sure do. We're going to get a little bit right here. Pinch this together, just like that. And this one's a little bit shorter. And then we're going to take our hands and we're going to put them here and here, like that. We're just going to put a little dab of glue right there and just go ahead and put this here. We'll hold on to it for a second until we think that it's stuck. Then we'll cut this little extra off. That way we don't need that. And then we're going to take this one and we're going to twist it around here. You want to hold it out just a little bit so it looks like her arms. A little bit like that. And down. And we're going to pinch this. We may have to do some of it off the side too. But we're just going to go ahead and put some glue there. Just like this. And there's the front portion right there with her hands and the rest of her body. 
And then we're gonna take this and cut off just a smidgen here. It really doesn't need it that much, but I just don't wanna see that. All right, so let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and put her cheeks on here because it was harder to do. This one's not as bright, so I don't like it as well. Just set that aside. It's not as pink. I don't like this one. Where is my other one? I must have dropped it or something. I don't know. All right. So what we're gonna do? Um, this one is kind of big. I don't know here. I may end up using. Let me see. Yeah, we could we could use one of these for the top and the bottom here for her. If you bend this, this will break, but I don't know if I can do it. I'm not strong enough. So maybe it's okay because I'll put the, the um, head on there. Kind of looks cute though, doesn't it? Because I don't have one of the other ones in here and this one's way too big for this. I could cut it, but I don't want to cut that. Because it's a nice one. Let me try to put a dab of glue around here. And set this on top. And it's hot, so watch that. Lord. There we go. We'll just kind of lean it this way a little bit. That way it shows more in the front. And that way it looks really cute like the red tie. I like the first one. I'm so glad you like both of them. And let's see here. I've got this. It's a piece of lace that has some stuff that hangs down from it. Um, we can put that up underneath there. Let me see if I can get it to go under there. That way it hangs down. I think it'll be all right. We're going to do that. We're going to take this and we're going to put a little dab of glue up underneath. That's where the collar is. Underneath the collar. And then we're going to put this piece so it'll hang down. Since I had it extra, I had cut that off doing something else. Let me see if I can get my scissors because I sure don't want to put my hand on there. And this way it comes like this. Okay. Let me situate her. All right. Let's get the stuff off of there. And then it's got, it's hanging down. That way she'll have a little, little cuteness coming down. All right. And then we're going to have to cut another one of these since I used it. So what I've done is just take this and cut it in between. I just look really close to it and see it hasn't come apart. Um, so we're lucky there. And I'm going to do this side. You just kind of go in between and just cut. You just have to hold your mouth right, I guess. Let me cut this one little edge right here. And this is going to be her halo once we get that on. Then we could put this on the bottom. Or we can leave it. Hmm, I wish I'd brought some more. I don't know what else I have. We could make a little bitty flower. Let's see. Let me... If you take this and you gather it all up and just glue that, then you'll have a little flower just like that. And then we can put a little bling in there. Let's see if we can do it that way. Let's see. We're just going to put it right here. Just a little dab. I'm going to put a little bit in the middle. This is just an extra piece that I had. 
that I'm just putting on here. Let me get this here a little bit. Put one little dab there. Let's see. There we go. Let's see if I've got another one. There's a red one right here. And this is also a button, but you could put this one right here. If you take that little bitty bit of material that I added right there, and you can put this in the middle of it, and it's got the red bling. So let me see. We're gonna put a little dab of glue right there. And really, we could put one of these and then put the glue. Let me see. Let me put a little dab underneath here so it won't lean down. Let me, and I'll show it to you. Sometimes we just have to make our own if we don't have something. So let me hold on to it for just a second. And right there, you make your own little flower. That way this will be able to see with that little brown behind there. But it also has the material that I made the flower out of to the side. Love it. I'm so glad. All right. So we've got our body made. And we've got our head right here. We can go ahead and try to do the hair first and try to do the face. Let me see if I can do her face here. Let's see, where did I do those cheeks? Right there. Okay. So we're just, we're going to do it different. We're going to put a little dab of this, a little dab here. So there's our little eyes. And like that right there. Then we're gonna make eyelashes. I mean an eyebrows. There we go. <laughs> and then we're gonna we're gonna do her with a mouth that's kind of open like she's singing just like that <laughs> maybe a little bigger like that and let me see if I can dry it just a little bit. I'll put it on low. Maybe it'll dry. If I move it a little bit. It's not taking very long. Ooh, it's hot. Hot, 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 hot. All right. And we're gonna put a little dot in the eye. Like that. It's got some wetness on it, so we gotta get that off of there. One little dot, two little dots. And a little bit, Lord, here we go. A little bit in the side of the mouth there. And then we're going to put her hair on.
and just put a little glue around here. Just be careful. And then we're going to just set this on top of her. <laughs> oh my goodness, this looks so funny. <laughs> it's hard to know what to use for hair. You can use anything, I guess. I could have used some of that mop again. I'm use, I use the mop so much. Let me get some of this off of the bottom. So, she's kind of looking like that. She kind of looks a hot mess, doesn't she? <laughs> so, let's see. We're going to put her head on. We're going to put a big, generous portion of glue right here. And then we're going to just stick her head on. And it fits really well on top of this because this is a hard piece of little plastic in between here because I did break one of them on accident. And this is really, really cool. See how she looks? She sits up there really well. Now I'm going to get that piece of jute. And we're going to tie it around her neck. Except this one's got a weirdness on it. Let's see. I don't want it to be seen. Let's see if we can tie it so we can have some way to hang her in the back here. Uh, this in a knot then we'll put her halo on let's get rid of this portion all right so this is her she got her little bling down here and her hand there all right so we're gonna Take our piece, here we go, and we're going to set it on top. So we're going to take this one because this doesn't look good on this side because it has a little blemish there. So we're going to put that on the bottom, and I'm just going to take a little bit and go around the edge of the red. And we're going to put that on top of her head and hold that down for a minute. That way it stays. We probably could have done it through here, done it on the top. All right, and we're going to take this and we're going to lean it up so it looks more like a halo, just like that. And that way she looks more like an angel. And that way you can have her hanging if you want to. Or you can just stick her in your tree. This one, I don't really, I didn't tie it. So let's just hold it. But this is what she looks like. Ah. And what was I going to put? Oh, I was going to put the wreath in her hand. Just like this. Let me see. Put a little dab right here on the top. You can get these. I don't know if I got this at the Dollar Tree or if I got it at Hobby Lobby. And you just glue it right there and just hold on to it for a second. I want to say I got these at, at the uh, Dollar Tree. And there were a few of them. In the package. But here she is, just like this, with that on there. And the purple one is right here. So if you like these, give me some hearts. I would appreciate it. And please paint the page. But they're cute. I wish I had another one of those beige ones. I would have done that for the top, but I kind of like this. So, I didn't have very many. I bought, like, um, a whole little doily thing for, like, $5. So, I got several of these for 5 You know, I'm not really sure. I got them on the resale. 
So I don't know which one you like the best. Oh, we forgot. Oh, don't look at the mouth. Okay. All right. So you can use whatever you want to on the dress. Thank you so much for the hearts. I appreciate that. Any suggestions on how to make it look like a boy angel? Well, you could always, instead of putting a halo on it, you could put some kind of little hat. And let's see. I don't know. You could leave it plain without putting lace on there instead of um, putting the lace because that's what makes it look the girl like. But I just think it's cute anyway, no matter what. And this is what I did. I took some pictures of this, but I got different, um, different ones of the ties. And I just took the very bottom portion and I glued them all together and kind of made a star and put a doily and some bling on the inside of it. Hey, no hair, Wendy. Yeah, no hair. You're right. Wendy said no hair and that'll look like a boy. That's the truth. It'll be a bald headed boy. Or you can have a different kind of hair and just put a little bit on top. And then this right here is just a gathered up tie that I took apart and I put a bling in the middle of it. And you can use this for a pin. So if you want to try to do something like that, you can with your tie. I took this apart and you can take it and you can pinch it all together or you can sew it and make a little flower and you can put some bling or just the flower and put it on your dress or whatever and you can take strips of it and you can go in and out with that and you can gather it all together and then make it a big ruffle in the middle and then make a flower out of that as well doing it with the stitch that makes it all gather together so you can use, you can do a lot of different things with your ties. Thanks for coming on, Wendy. And Rhonda, thank you. And anybody that has any other ideas, they can do that. Uh, they can post it on here as well. Thank you for painting the page, Stephanie. And Beth, thank you for watching. I appreciate that. So Wednesday, we are going to do the Santa... Um, bushel basket I guess you call it and um, I'll show you how to do that I bought some things today at Michael's uh, for that that I was looking for I could not find some of it at Walmart when I went in there to get a few groceries did you put a cardboard backer on the star on the tie star mm, what do you mean on what i'm not sure exactly what you mean i didn't put any cardboard in here but you can if you want to put a piece back here um you can put a piece underneath the ties are you know once you put this on the tree then it's just fine like it is you don't need any cardboard i'm not really sure what you mean picture you showed us hmm Oh, on here. No. Yeah, sorry. Uh, no, no, no. Um, this is just, you know, at the very end of your tie, do you see this has some in the middle? This is to make it stiffer um, for the tie. And at the very end of it, which I took the piece off of there, but um, it's it goes all the way down to the end. So they're all, they're very stiff. And they're very easy to be together. So you don't even need anything. But it's really cute. You could use this also as a big big brooch. Or you can put it on your tree. I was thinking of making them for my grandkids. You ought to. Definitely. Can't wait to see the finished basket. It's going to look really cute. And as you saw in the picture earlier, I did... Um, I did spray paint it the red so I don't have to do that portion because that would take forever to do that. <laughs> yeah, I thought, what do you mean star? I forgot. It kind of looks like a star, doesn't it? 
And these were my dad's ties. This one was my dad's tie. This one right here. And this one. And I think this one. And I think I got this one at Goodwill. And this one and this one at Goodwill. Because I didn't have enough red. Looks like an old time brooch. It does look like an old time brooch. Both of them really kind of do. And these are some that I made last year. And see... This one was one of my dad's ties. I just wanted to have it, and this one was one. And I didn't even put any bling on that. So, and I used some. This was a dolly that I used for the back. That's what we forgot. We hadn't forgot. We forgot to put the wings on. <clears throat> well, I'm glad I looked at that, huh? All right. So, what we're going to do is take this, and we're going to pinch it up. And then we're going to take it and put it on the back. But this one is way too long. So we're going to take it and we're going to cut it some. And pinch it. And we're going to take... Where's my... I'm looking for this. You want a little piece of it so you can tie it in the middle. Yeah, we forgot our wings to make her an angel. Okay, so you want to take it and put it in the middle and tie it and then tie it in a knot and take this portion off. And that way it looks like this. And then we're going to glue it on the back here. We're going to kind of pinch it. Put a big, generous amount of glue because this is a bigger, heavier piece. Now she looks more like an angel. There you go. And then, let's see here. You don't have to use this. You can use a dolly. I don't know if I can use this dolly. Let's see. We're going to pinch it up a little bit. We can use this dolly if you want to. Yeah, that'll, that's good, really. Let's see. What do you think? Let's see. Yeah, like that. Or downward. Downward's better. All right, let's see. We're going to cut this in half. I hate to do that to the dolly, but we're going to do it. Because we're just going to use half of it and just stick it right here. This is easier. And just kind of put some glue across the back. Let's see. I may need to get a little bit more glue on this side. I didn't get it over here too good. So let's see. Just a little bitty bit. There. And there she is. So she looks cute. With just half a dolly there. That way you can see her a little bit better. So she looks really cute from the front and from the back. So there we go. 
That's okay, Miss Pat. I understand. You can go back and watch it. Thank you so much. We had forgotten, or I forgot, not y'all, um, to put the wings on. And this is the first one that we did. And then this is the second one that we did. It's so cute. So, I collect angels, um, that uh, ornaments anyway. I don't collect specific angels except some of them that I have made out of, um, like this one behind me. Let me get it. I made a bigger version of this. And this is out of the mop from Dollar Tree. And I made her wings out of a piece of fabric from a, a quilt. And then this is the one. And this is the one that Barb on the Shabby Tree showed us how to make. So I did this one for my cousin. And I've got a couple of little dollies here and a little bling. And then her hands are together like this. Hey, Diana Riley, thank you for watching. And Miss Pat, Miss Elaine, these are so cute. I've got a big one and then I've got these little ones. But this one actually is hers. I just haven't gotten it to her because they live in Cenotopia. And so that's kind of an hour or so away. So I don't... I haven't gotten it to her yet. And you can do those cute little eyes like this. These are more like teardrop eyes. And see, I used paint instead of using um, the blush to do her cheeks. And she doesn't have a mouth. <laughs> Thank you for the purple hearts, Elaine. So, um, I kind of collect those. And when she did the little broom... I did that one too, and it's one of my favorite faces that I've done. Um, it's really, really cute. I don't know if y'all want to see that or not. Y'all probably saw it on the the shabby tree um, where people put their stuff. What's it called? Um, crafting with the shabby tree. Hey, Paula Kemp. Thank you for spending time with us. He loved my faces, Miss Pat. Hey, Miss Rhonda, Jeannie, show us. Okay, you want me to run in there and get it? All right, y'all gonna sit tight. Here she is. Now I made her wings out of wood. And this is a styrofoam ball. And then this is the broom. The little, I don't know, whisk broom? Is that what you call that? And then I got these ribbons from Michael's. They have like a ton of different, isn't she cute? She's my favorite, I think. I love her face. She's got really big eyes. And then I put one of those little blings up here. <laughs> but she's one of my favorite ones. I use the uh, mop and I just cut that for her hair. And see how I did her hair in the back? I just made it, just kept going down until I got to the bottom. And her um, wings are wood. And I glued that on there and just put her hair on top of it. And then I used one of these little bitty wreaths and made it for her halo. This is cute, isn't it? I just love her, but I love her face. I probably wouldn't get to do her face again if I tried. No, I'm sure I could, <laughs> but this is just really cute. And I put a little bit of hair in the front too, cause I think I started too far back and then it looked funny. So I had to give her a little bit of bangs or something. So I really like this one. 
We could make this if y'all want to do that, but y'all can go back and see Barb. You are so tall. Actually, I'm not. I'm like five foot four. I think it just looks like I am. But she stands up on her own. Look at that. I make ornaments every year for the grandkids. Last year, I used small flower pots and made Christmas bells with snowmen. That's so cute. You'll have to show me that, Miss Stefani. And Pat, I'm glad you love her. She's really she's one of my favorite ones. I don't know that I've that I've done. I do like all the angels that I've done. But um she's one of my favorite. And of course you could put a bow in her hair, but I figured all the ribbon at the bottom it didn't matter. You know, they've got for like $9.99 at uh Michaels, they've got like tons of ribbon that complement everything and so that's what all of this is and i just tied it in, around her neck and then um just put the little bling in the middle so it's just this is really cute very easy idea of course you can do whatever you want to for the wings i just ended up doing that you could do these for the wings and it would be fine if you have some of those left over from the spring this right here, you could um, do that on the back and it would be pretty. I guess I would have to use the whole thing and just cut part of it off and gather it. But that would work. I just thought this would be different. So hopefully you like her. She's really cute. I really like her. So we'll be doing some angels, different things. Um, I've got some smaller gourds that I'm going to use. Uh, you love everything about her, Elaine? I do, too. She's one of my favorites. That's for sure, if not the favorite. I thought that I liked my bigger angel out of the mop, and I do like it. I'll post it on there so y'all can see some of my angels. And I redid another angel. Um... Do you have a pattern for the wings? I can make a pattern for the wings and I can post it on there. It's just easy. It's, it's easy. Or you can, um, I can cut them out and send them to you if you want that as well. I'm afraid I'm gonna knock her off. But she sits really good. That's one of the best things. Maybe cut out of cardboard. You could cut it out of cardboard. Absolutely. Yep, you sure could. I guess just because I have access to all my wood and my saws and everything, that's what I tend to do instead of using cardboard. But I do have a lot of extra cardboard from when I don't send things out to people. Um... They're just all sitting up in the attic. I've got tons of boxes because I don't know when I'm going to ship out anything. <laughs> She's precious the way she is. She is. She doesn't need a bow, does she? She just is good with her little halo on her head. I love her little um, freckles. I think I should do that on all the angels. They need All of them need freckles. I'll have to do a pattern for the wings. I'm not sure I cut one out. I just did it that day. But that's a good idea, Jeannie. Definitely the cardboard so everybody can do it. So, yes. Her face is, my, is the best. I think so, too. I'm not allowed to play with power tools. My husband won't let me. <laughs> See, afraid you're going to cut your hand off? I tell you, the scissors that I used yesterday, those little ones to do the pom-poms, or whenever we did it on Friday night, I cut the tip of my finger, and it bled, and it bled, and it bled, and it bled. Finally, it stopped, but look at that cut. I thought it would never stop. It was bleeding so bad. So, it's not just power tools that can be dangerous. Darn scissors are, too. So, be careful when you do use power tools. Because it's a mess. That's for sure. Does anybody have power tools on here? Oh, 
Oh, with a mandolin. Darn. He said it's cheaper for him to do it instead of the hospital bill. That's now. I understand. We'll get him to cut stuff for you. I don't know what I'd do without my saws. And since I really don't have anybody to do it, then I have to do it myself. Hot glue is dangerous. You're darn right about that. I've glued and hot hot glued my hand before. Woo, that hurts so bad. Yeah, you're right. Hot glue is dangerous. Well, I will let everybody get back to their you share, Rhonda says. That's good. I'll let you get back to your stuff. I have an order that I have to make for tomorrow, and I've got to make an ornament or a gift for a friend that's having a baby in about a month or so. And let's see. You have a drill and dremels. I do have a dremel, and I have not used it yet, Miss Elaine. I'm not sure I know how to use it. I would like to cut stuff out with that, and I haven't used it. Is it easy to use? You're welcome. Hey, Beth Hurley, thank you. So, anyway, Miss Elaine, I'm sure you'll be telling me about your Dremel later. And I appreciate it, and I will talk to y'all on Wednesday. I'll try to post some things. I'm going to try to make a few things um, this afternoon. Um, I thought about making some Oreo balls because I did pick up some white chocolate um, to put on the outside of it at Michael's. They didn't have it on sale, but it really wasn't that expensive. Um, so I may make those at some point. I forgot to get the Oreos, though, to do that. And so I need to do that. It was easy YouTube for Dremel. Yeah, I need to do that for sure. Because I sure don't know how to use it. Usually, my handyman will show me something and then I'll... I'll do it from there, but because I'm scared when I get a new tool or something. I know basically what to do, but I don't always know what to do. Oh, don't tell me that. I'm diabetic. Oh, my goodness. Well, then you don't need these because there's sugar for sure. But maybe you could use, I don't know. There's not any Oreo cookies that are non-fat, are they? Or not, no sugar? You sent a PM to me. Okay, I'll check that, Miss Linda. All right, well, I'm going to say good night, and I will talk to y'all on Wednesday. I'll try to post some things tomorrow and the next day, and hopefully everybody will be here on Wednesday night to watch do me do the basket, and I will talk to you later. Bye.